Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is part two of our 10 holes that we are playing. If you missed our first five holes, there's a link in the description just down below. The round continues, the stats continue, and the learning continues. Hope you enjoy the vlog, and if you have any questions, post in the comment section down below, and we'll try and get back to you with some answers. Let's get back to the course. Um, I'm hitting a six. Yeah, I've got a six and a seven, because it's downwind now off the right. Like, yeah. you hit that six hard, you're going to get, you need to be up the left if you hit that. Yeah. Otherwise you'll get too close to those trees on the right. Like, oh, that's no. not going to have much of a shot. Sit, sit, sit. Yeah, you need that kicking back oh, and out. Oh, it kicked right as well. Oh, God. <laughs> I tried to cut it, and I cut it, just didn't start it left. Yeah, you've got to be left of that. I reckon you need to be left of the wall as the last. Yeah. Left of the wall and on the wall. I reckon. I can jump like a mentalist with my irons. It don't seem to affect accuracy at all. Yeah, that's good. It's got to be perfect, I think. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, Matt's done this wrong. I'll pan around in a second. He's going to have to chip out. So I quite, I really enjoy this hole. It's short. You know, you're hitting sixes and seven irons off the tee because you've got to get through this gap. Um, and the green's really slopey. If you miss it, you're in trouble. So even Matt's second shot here, well, he's just out enough, look. And I might have trees on the left to contend with. 117, slightly down off the right, 52 degree. We'll draw it a couple of yards just to get away from this. It's a big one of these for me. I guess that's not got any slope on it, is it, you're reading? No. So this needs a bump. I'm GPS in today. Just fly a bit then. Oh yeah, there's probably, wonder what, should we see what the uphillness of that is? I reckon it's 125. Yeah, so I needed a wedge really, didn't I? Used Max GPS. 132 flag. So complete wrong club for me there by lazy. Use Matt's GPS. It says 117 middle. To the back of the green on my... Yeah, I reckon, well, I, it was 10, 15 yards uphill. 52 degree for Matt. He's caught those trees yeah. on the right. Oh, it's got through them all. How has that done that? <laughs> <laughs> Deflected off like that. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, uh, why am I chipping this, Matt? You're chipping again, eh? With a 58. Well, your I five might win the old still. You got the hardest two putt in the world there. Yeah. And I just want to have a bit of a chip with a bit of pressure. This is like tight and everything. No. Dunchy. Speed get through. Dunchy dunchy. Oh, Chipping for fun. Not in. good enough. So much slope coming up here for Matt. Tough to putt. Put it high side, which is uh, not going to matter, I guess, because you need to hold it. Yeah. Pick it up. Wowzers. Pick it up. That's good, isn't it? No, that's a five and X. I chipped. Should have been a four. I wouldn't. Oh, yeah. To be honest with you, a putt it was, but it's fun to practice chipping, isn't it? Yeah. Whereas there's no point to being locked in for eight weeks, was there? <laughs> <laughs> it was done to help me with my chipping, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, that's, that's a gift. That's a gift. 
What's the line here? Like at that? The perfect line today, but it flirts with trouble. Wind off the right down is that tree in the distance. Just right at the bunker. Yeah, that's like, if you get that, you'll be miles up there. But the safe line is over the right hand bunker, letting it move right or just rip it straight. And then the trees to the right of that tree are like proper tiger line, aren't they? Over these trees I went in last time. The spindly ones there at the front. Yeah, yeah, yeah I wouldn't see that as a line in my distance. But yeah, a bit of, if you drew it, yeah, I, I would get that. Cutty, I'm afraid. Just fly a bit further. Like that is perfect if it's long enough. Yeah, I think it will be. It was just not a great flight. That's my two six spin. I need my I like my speed there, but I want more of a knuckleball flight. Knuckleball. That you get a one seven spin on that, you get like a two eighty carry out of the nowhere. That's a good one. That's a proper lovely, you'll be miles past me on that. That's a great shot. That's such a good flight. Thank you. Right, I'm too close to these trees. Matt has done me by a lot here as well. I can on the angle, there's a good 40 past me still there. I can even if I get my absolute perfect flight, because it was a floater flight. I'm not within 30 still of him. Right. More squats. Just try it, just doing a few more squats, Matt. Are you alright, Matt? There? No. How far do you reckon I got? What, to me? <laughs> oh, I'm going to knock this on from the, from the Sevy land. Okay, so I'm probably about 190, 180. So I'm going to smash a seven because it's out of the rut. See if I can just chase it anywhere within chipping distance of the hole. No, didn't get the strike. Get down a little, get down. Oh, in off the tree, yes. <laughs> Hit a tree back onto the fairway nearly. Yep. Nine iron for Matt after what is the perfect drive, it has to be said. He's drawn it in. Just draw a bit more. Yeah, I mean, that's a birdie. Unless that's long, that's a great shot. Yeah, should be alright. Yeah, it looked good. Right, up and down needed. That's a nice one. Got to land this just in that, just short of green. And get a release down. Good these berries, aren't they? Out there. Oh, good. In. Oh, have theories. Come on, people. Have theories. Putters have been brought down. It's fine. Is it right, is it? Yeah, you oh, can he's have it. Oh, he's giving it. He's good. He's good. I made it. After that, yeah. Saw it. Landed it. In the spot and everything. Tough two putts now, sir, isn't it? Eagle hunting. That's what I hope. Go for it. Yeah, good putt. Go! That's a great putt. Pick it up. Very easy four. Yes, that's like pressure off stuff, that, isn't it? If you can hit drives like that. Yeah. 
That's what I'm chasing. Yeah. I want that. Two I want the, those drives with my consistency. Two of those around at least on your par fives. Yeah. Life's good, isn't it? That's what Bubba said. I, chipping game didn't wasn't that good. Yeah. He said, I don't need to be. I'm good at playing the PJ Tour, he yeah. said. Yeah, <laughs> sod yeah. off. <laughs> the left enough on this side that's gonna have to sit down isn't it it's fine there yeah that's all right struck it good yeah i'm going left left yeah you i just can't bring myself to, i mean i could aim over this tree right in front of us here with it moving back into the fairway I'm, yeah i'm going over this tree yeah it is the line i just i've got to get rid of my default safe setting that's just constantly on <laughs> Not worked out where the off button is. <laughs> oh my word. <laughs> oh Ooh. my word. Get over the trees. I'm gonna hit another. I want to take that on. That's <laughs> rip <laughs> on the perfect line, isn't it? It's a good shot. It's it's um the heel side which I'm liking yeah. more at the moment. Like I can't, I want that duck up to go quick yeah it's it's not nice so is it stop doing that hey, that is a nail oh yeah you gotta aim over there haven't you i am not aiming over there <laughs> <laughs> yeah that hit, a little bit more than mine maybe uh, that's mine that's hit that bad. good I reckon you're still oh, yeah, way it's past that. It's past the two bunkers. Yeah. All right, here's my first. Uh, tricky to stop it now. Into this green. That's just getting to his one, which is the left line. See how much you can cut off. Um, my second ones, there might be some incidents to talk about with my second. Just wondering if there's any incidents with my second one, Matt. No. No? I'll get down there and have a look. Hang on. Right, 132 flag into off the left or just straight off the left. Slightly hurting off the left. From the rough. Got a little wedge. Um, it's not seeing little shots as well anymore. I feel like I want to whack a 52. But the big arse at 132 into. A little controlled wedge. If the right bounces, it'll be good if it's not too short. Not bad from the rough, take it. So Matt's there. This is the angle of the T, Matt. <laughs> and I'm down there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're getting worried, sir, aren't you? Look at that, this isn't the angle of the tee, the angle of the tee is like down here. How awkward. The army must be petrified at the minute. Oh, nice little wedge in there, Matt, that was better. Oh, well, that was be a stiff one. I do. <laughs> all right, putting match now. All down, all about putting, Matt, isn't it? <laughs> That's what they say. <laughs> Could go in. That could go in. That could go in. Though. It's gone in. It blew my nuts, hasn't it? Yeah. That has gone in. He's rolled that in. Trouble with holding so many putts, you have to keep touching the foam bit, don't you? I must be more at risk with my putting than you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's better to be worse at putting these days. Don't touch the flag. Mm. So that's no. a weak one. No, low Pick. that was. Yeah, good par though after your long drive. One down. All about putting, you see. So this is into off the left, isn't it? Into off the left, yeah. Oh, 
Oh, necky. I keep netting it on this hole. That's got to land soft. That <laughs> should be fine. It will, it? but it'll go under those hanging trees again and I'll find chipping out again. Uh, ooh, don't know if you are chipping or not. It might be a full shot. Just strike. Everything was ready to rumble then. Yeah. Ready to rumble. I just want to hit a pitch into this hole one day. <laughs> <laughs> so much to ask. Oh, go on. You ripped it again. That's good line. If it just misses the rough, it's going to yeah, bounce yeah. and bound. Right, we're 96 yards in the rough. Not a good strike. Matt's ripped when he's like chipping from not far off the green. <laughs> And he's giving it the long dog speech up there. If we can get this one close and hold the putt, we'll crush him. Come on. Look, he's, look, he's going for it. Look. Loves it, loves it, he does. On his Instagram, giggling away. Hello. All right. <laughs> Coming through. 96 yards. Come on, get it within 10 foot. Oh, look. Oh, that's an awful pop to the right. 25 yards for me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, a bit of a high popper, I'm afraid. Not what I wanted. It is a perfect drive, Matt. I was trying to get my 10 foot hole it and you not get up and down just to crush dreams, but... I still might not get up and down, but it's uh, nice to be here rather than back where you are, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. Great tee shot. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah. Easy hole from there, isn't it, sir? It is. Oh, don't chip in. <laughs> don't you chip in. Not now. Yeah, have a little, little divot as well. Drop. That's left. Had to go for it. I'll repair some pitch marks. Do you while want to putt to save me putting? No, no, you carry on. We'll have to reframe the camera and everything. That, that's fine by me. <laughs> you just want the gift, don't you? Yeah, I'd love a gift. <laughs> you want a gift and then you don't want to have to go, you don't have, want to have to hold and watch me hold it for the half once you've missed. <laughs> <laughs> this is desperate stuff. <laughs> oh. oh, I just like to look at it. Yeah, you just want a free go. <laughs> oh, excellent. Come on, move that camera. <laughs> just, if I miss this, I'm going to give you that putt and walk off with the camera turned off. <laughs> yeah, I'll pick it up. Yeah. That, that's a free. <laughs> Oh, no, I've left it short. Not it's it. a gift. It's a gift. Not in it. Gift that I wanted. <laughs> Lovely. Tough <laughs> oh, it in. Yeah, easy birdie. Very good drive, sir. Thank you. All square, one to go. Checking the par three. Yeah, just I'm making sure that there's no one up there. But just in case. I will shout if it goes that way. <laughs> Oh dear, that was funny. <sighs> a little gift from Grossfield. <laughs> I, was like... I feel like there's going to be a lot of gifts coming in in the future now <laughs> with this new style. Up the par three. Oh! No one up there, is there? I, they couldn't see anyone, but it's worth shouting, isn't yeah. it? Yes, that is a good miss up there. Like. If you go over there, you're not blocked by any trees or anything. No, it should be an internal out of bounds, shouldn't it? No. <laughs> a one-way internal out of bounds, I would make that. <laughs> Honiton Golf Course, <laughs> if you're watching. Honiton Dictatorship. <laughs> <laughs> Up the left. Easy shot in. 
Yeah, that is a good, because you've just got a basic picture. Now, with a range finder and stuff as well, it, it's just easy now. Like, you used to do that and it would be quite hard because you wouldn't know what you got. Because you're just taking everything out of play. Like, where I'm trying to hit it is narrow. Yeah. I get it. I just can't play like that yet. <laughs> I don't want to fully give up on golf just yet, you know? It'll come. It'll come. Yeah. <laughs> Just cut a bit more. Yeah, that's good. Go on, get out of that rough. And go right. Yeah, good shot, that. Yeah, thank you. That's, a, that's a perfect. All right, Matt's over on the other fairway. It is a play. He must have like 100 yards, 80 yards. Nothing obstructing him at all. Is that a good strike or not? Yes. Ah, oh, what a shot. Great shot, Matthew. He's going to steal it at the end. Right, 79 yards. Pressure on. I need to hit a good pitch here. It's a rip strike. Be the distance then. Bit long. Uh oh, spin back. Definitely getting different levels of spin. My wedge game. And do we put? Do we give you yours? Well, I don't. I didn't want to say. I brought my padder and stuff. You know. Put it down for me. It's easier to see. Yeah, I reckon you can have that. Yeah. I do. I honestly do. Thanks very much. It was just a good shot. Oh, he's missed it. It was a given. <laughs> birdie, birdie, finish. Yeah, that's that's not like you, is it? No, no. no. Right, I better hold a putt then. Crush it. Ah, three good drives to finish. Was it four? Yeah, four drive, good drives. Drive, 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 birdie to par five, wanted. par birdie, birdie. Yeah, Matt, so get that driver going. Yeah, dangerous. It is a weapon. Ah, uh, all about the putting. Three under for the last four, putting no. god. Just don't look at the other holes. All about putting. There we go. Yes. You deserve that. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was the most hollow you deserve that I've ever heard in my entire life. Oh, I'm stood next to the camera. I better um, you you deserve that. <laughs> Good finish. But there's a lot of birdies and bogeys going on, and that's what I feel like. Whatever year we start playing golf, probably might be like for me, and it's been like that for you for a while, hasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I just feel there's gains, but you lose. It's like... Should we both do our strokes gained on this one? Well, we could do. I Did I finish every hole? I think I didn't so. finish every hole, but I can... Because I didn't finish the par five where you birdied. Don't have to include putting, I guess. But I think we could. Yeah. Let's do that to finish. Right. Let's do a little bit of strokes gain then, Matthew. Uh, very interesting on the driver, isn't it? That you're gaining on me 0 0.08, but we're both losing 0 0.7 and 0 0.78 against a tall pro. Matt's gone for tall pro here, so which is always a little disheartening. Because against a scratch handicapper, I'd imagine we'd be gaining there. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure we would be, yeah. Um, maybe I can pop them up on the screen as we're editing it yeah um, we can't see him now but it, yeah you'll see against a scratch as well because i would i would put us more against a scratch player we're never going to beat tall pros we know that it's just fun to benchmark isn't it i think my driving is quite surprising because i look at this round as driving well but it was only the first two holes that really let me down unfortunately because on that second hole i lost i think 0.7 four on that one shot on the drive and then the rest of them but I would have said that I'm like gaining on a tall pro maybe if I took that one out. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? But it also shows you how well they drive the ball because I would say that you would, to get a gain on a tall pro at driving, you've got, to, I mean, you have got the speed, but to get it out of you with the strike at the right time, it shows you how hard they're pushing it, I think. What's quite interesting as well is um, that par five up the hill, about our sixth hole, it's uphill as well. So like, even though I rip it, I 
don't think I gained on the tall pro because the stats don't know that it's uphill. <laughs> yeah, which is where you need a bigger data set that we know obviously over a year, over two years, you're going to have as many uphill as downhill and it'll all even itself out. Because that is a good point. That hole is always very disheartening when I do strokes gained on it because I don't get close to gaining on a tall pro there. Um, even if I hit a good one, because it is 25, 20 yards uphill, basically. I've measured it, I think, at 18 or 20 yards uphill. So interesting with the driving shows how good they drive the ball. I think it shows your potential, but also if I'm driving... I think it shows if I was driving how I know I can, if I go pat-pat mode, how I can relentlessly get back at you because you're going to let me in as well. I think that would show a little bit. So you have the bigger advantage, but I'm always there. Is this going to be what's annoying you? Now, approach play was quite interesting. So I my approach play, losing 3.3 to a tour pro your approach play losing 3.63 so i'm gaining on you a little bit with approach play there and i would say out of our approach play that's relatively consistent with what we see it's more consistent generally isn't it, it like doesn't have the disaster in there so what another thing that's interesting is i think then think you don't get a chance to capitalize on your length because then because I, I, I do feel if you've got a 9-9 nine nine in your hand, I don't, I don't feel out of it with a 7 or 6. I still feel like I'm in the game a bit. Yeah, I don't put them to 20 feet and inside enough, do I? I can miss the yeah. green in the yeah. wrong spot and blind myself from there. <laughs> and then look at the short shots. It's interesting, isn't it? I mean, there is our games. The big difference there is nearly five shots or more, isn't it? It's, it's six shots, actually. You did chip remarkably well on this round and I had not great chips and pointless chips. I had ones I had to chip in, so the stats is working in. Like, I had a mud ball, which was you know, I'm going to struggle to get that on the green or at least close. And then the next one, I'm just trying to chip it in. Otherwise, it's, you know, you're picking it up. And obviously, that's where I think it's hard for stats for some people. Because if you're playing match play, uh, your stats in match play probably aren't going to need to be the same as they are in metal almost. Do you know what I mean? Well, the way you play the game completely changes, doesn't it? Which is where I think the PGA Tour does obviously the stats so well. Because they're just four rounds, 18 holes, four rounds, 18 holes, four rounds, eight, all, all the time. Um, so I do understand why the average amateur struggles with this a little bit because if they're playing different formats, you do play them a bit differently. But it still gives you a really good generalisation. And then the putting was interesting, wasn't it? Look at my gains on a putter there on a Tour Pro and then you're kind of good. I mean, if you're only losing 0.4 and putting to a Tour Pro, that's not bad. That's a Tour Pro who's practising every day and one of the world's best. Out of those two groups of stats... I still would like yours, I, as in I'm happy with mine for that round because it evened out, but I want your potential to beat them off the tee with my approach yeah, play. Yeah, I basically. just want your approach play. <laughs> That's all yeah. I want. Yeah, definitely. Holding on that. Yeah, and my putting sprees. I can get on putting sprees, can't I? It would be interesting to see a year-long stat on putting sprees. There are times when 10-footers do drop um a little consistently or too consistently consistently for your opponent don't they i think but it's interesting isn't it as well it just it's heartbreaking the driving is heartbreaking how hard it is it just again shows you how good the best in the world are at driving the ball doesn't it yeah yeah just keep pounding those drivers out <laughs> yeah if they can it's such an advantage thank you matthew down below post comments down below are you using stroke gains i posted a tweet um the other day which is what i found quite interesting matthew asking if people use strokes gained and there was a lot of people said they didn't really understand it so they don't so maybe we should do a video a bit more we've done lots on it but a few more on it because it's it's actually not that complicated and it's the it's the only way I would really look at a, a, uh, an improvement plan generally for any of my students. It would be from this kind of data. So I do think that the answers are in here. And then one other interesting tweet that someone said is it, you know, I don't bash my driver a long way, so what's the point of doing strokes gained, he said on a tweet. And I just thought, oh, it's not just about that. Like that, it shows that that's an advantage. But as you can see here, it shows if I can putt like that, get 3.3 on a day, I can hold Matt who's hitting it 20, 30 past me as well. So what we will go out and practice might be, Matt doesn't need to practice speed, I do. Matt no, might need to practice his approach play. Well, I could a bit, but I'm generally quite good at it. Um, he could definitely get out on the putting green a bit more where I'm, from that stats, if it was consistent, relatively happy and would focus my time more on training. So. 
you know, it's it's it can be so tailored to the person, can't it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you, and I make all my students do stats and strokes gain now. Not one of them don't do, doesn't do it. Yeah, which is great. Thanks for watching all. Let me know in those comments down below. As always.